Hello, I'm David Lopez, Application Sales Engineer with Tempo Communications, and today we're going to talk about our new fiber trainer. The Tempo Communications Fiber Trainer provides the platform to learn how to use typical fiber optic test instruments, such as lost test sets, video inspection probes, visual fault locators, optical time domain reflectometers, and fusion splicers. Before connecting any fibers, the technician must clean and inspect each ferrule and bulkhead. This is a mandatory process so as to attain the lowest loss, lowest reflectivity connection. Failure to do so can cause a high insertion loss and probable permanent damage to the connectors. The damaged fiber port is connected to a fiber that has a macro bend and a cut fiber. The 180XL visual fault locator is connected to this port. The red laser light then illuminates the macro bend and the pinched fiber. Using the 180XL VFL in modulation mode will show the events more readily in higher ambient light conditions. The fiber link in port provides access to a 1,000 meter fiber that is terminated at fiber link out. At the approximate 500 meter mark, there is a faulty connector with an approximate loss of 0.6 dB and a reflectivity of minus 45 dBm. The OFL100 optical time domain reflectometer is connected to the fiber link in. A measurement can be initiated using the auto test and the measurement is displayed. Reel 1 and Reel 2 fiber spools are each loaded with 15 meters of fiber for fusion splicer exercises. Fiber can be unwound to a sufficient length to perform a fusion splice. A loss measurement can be made by zeroing the OPM210 optical power meter with respect to the SLS520 source. The splice is then broken and a new splice is made. The loss of the splice is then displayed on the OPM210. All service and technical support is located at the Tempo Communications factory in Vista, California and at our United Kingdom facility.